Hi everyone, it's Lucy and I am back again with another Yes Style haul. I honestly, even though no one is gonna like really see me except for like Instagram, I couldn't help myself from getting some stuff from Yes Style. So I hope you guys enjoy this haul because I really like all the pieces. Some of the stuff in my haul have already been shown on my Instagram or TikTok if you follow any of those. And at the end, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's inside the Insta kit, which is my giveaway that I'm partnering with Yes Style for. And just so you guys know, that is going to end next Friday. So I will choose a winner next Friday. So I will have the instructions on how to sign up for the giveaway down below in the description box. Or you can watch my last video, which was my silent vlog. I even made like a makeup look using some of the products in the Insta kit, but like I didn't really like it. So it's honestly like this makeup that I'm doing here, which I use for like everything, like Instagram, YouTube, when I'm bored, TikTok, like stuff like that. But um, I might like refilm it or heavily edit that one, but I don't know. I also need to buy some eyeliner because I don't have any of that either. But let's get started with the Yes Style haul. Oh yeah, some of them were like kind of Blackpink inspired too. So if you see, like if you've seen my TikTok, then you, you know. The first piece is this yellow, what the fuck? <laughs> this first piece is a blue cropped cardigan. Sorry, it's a little wrinkled because I've worn it already. And it's honestly like really soft. Like I don't even, it's like so soft. And I, I've said this before, but I have like kind of sensitive skin to like itchy material. And this is like so soft and I love it. Actually, there is like this picture of Jisoo, which I will put like right here that I saw and I was like, oh my gosh. Kind of a dupe though. I got it to match with this black skirt. I got this black mini. I got this black mini skirt, and the cool thing about this, or most skirts from this style, is that they come with like booty, like booty shorts. So like you don't have to worry about wearing spandex or showing your underwear. And I think it's really cute because it's pretty fitted. So like no, no, no. I feel like this is like the type of skirt like even if you don't have curves like me like it still like form like it goes with like the shape of your body which i think looks really nice and i think it looks really cute paired with the blue cardigan also to match the black skirt i got this pink shirt that i was trying to i was trying to make an inspired look for jenny but it's this it's like kind i i guess it's off the shoulder i'm not really into off the shoulder tops that much but i still think this one's really cute and it cinches if you pull this string here and it's just long sleeved cropped and it's like it just looks like this this one's like my favorite piece even though it's like not the most springy type it's been raining a lot where i live so i got this yellow hoodie and Yes, it is similar to Lisa's that I saw. Like, okay, I swear I'm not like a creepy like stalker fan. I just like, I really like their outfits that they have because they're really cute. So yeah, I got this one because I mean, I was doing it for the TikTok, okay guys. So I have this yellow sweatshirt. I got it in size medium because I want to be more oversized and it is so warm. Like it's so warm. I freaking love it. And it's like really soft. The material's like, it's not like cotton. I don't really know how to describe it. It's not like Jersey. It's like something a little bit different, but I think because of that, it's like really warm and it's just really comfy. Like I wear it like all the time. So the next piece I got, I wanted to do like a two piece set, but unfortunately the pants couldn't ship or arrive. So I got just this blazer, this blue blazer. And honestly, the material is really nice. Like I really like it. I think it's like super lightweight and it still looks like business casually. I, again, wanted to do Jisoo's outfit right here. Um, I kind of did it in like my TikTok if anybody saw it. I just wish I could get the shorts. Maybe I'll still buy them because I think they're really cute. I really want a matching set. I think that's just like still like put together and I don't know. Also, I I said this in my last like Blackpink inspired outfit, but Juicy's style is so underrated. 
Like I think it's like, honestly, I felt like Rosé's style was my favorite, but honestly, I think Jisoo's is. I mean, they all have really good style. Okay, the next piece is this like see-through undershirt and it has like at the neck like these ruffles and also like a little bit like balloony sleeves and cinched at the wrist and then it also expands with ruffles at the end of both of the sleeves and I thought this would be like a really nice layering item because I had an idea for the next piece I'm going to show you guys so this next piece is a dress it's like a, uh, the material is like chiffon material and it's like a maxi dress and I really wanted to make like an elegant style outfit so I bought this shirt to pair underneath and I think it looks really good. I posted an Instagram picture with this combined outfit and I think it looks good. I really wanted to do it at golden hour but it was not sunny. I also bought this um, gray plaid skirt, which I it's like kind of like the schoolgirl type, which I've never had like a skirt like this before. So I thought it'd be really cute. And it does also come with those shorts, those booty shorts. So you don't, so you won't expose yourself if you accidentally bend over or stuff like that. And to go along with the schoolgirl theme, so you can like see all the clothes like back there, which... We won't talk about that. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look that bad on camera. Anyway, um, to go with the schoolgirl theme, I also bought like this vest-ish thing. It's like a knit vest and I think it's really cute. Yeah, again, this was also to dupe with an outfit that Jenny wore one time. So aside from clothes, I'm done with the clothes now, but I bought some accessories. I bought this bag, the see-through bag, and I already put some charms on it. I have Aizawa-san from My Hero Academia, and um, there's this girl that I've been babysitting for two years now, and she made me this charm, which I think is so cute because she asked me what my zodiac sign was, my Chinese zodiac, and I said snake, but she spelled it snack, and I, like, I think that's so cute. I didn't want to correct it, but... This bag, I guess it's size A A4, which is like the paper size, eight by 11 or something like that. I think this bag is like really nice. I've been using it like every time I go out, which is not that often, but when I do, even if it's just to like take my dog out. It comes like with this pouch in here. I don't really use it because I think it like, I don't, I don't put things in this bag I just bring it for the aesthetic but I normally put things in the back so that no one can see the front or if I do put something in the front it's like something that's like cute like my Nintendo switch it even still has like the paper inside like I haven't taken it out yet and I don't really plan to and then I also bought some rings I'm wearing three of them now I think it's a seven pack ring set and I think the rings are really cute I haven't noticed tarnishing yet but i haven't really worn them that much maybe like five six times so not that bad yeah and they don't really leave like you know like that residue that those fake silver rings have that was the stuff that yes style sent me that i chose but i bought some stuff with my own money and i honestly think it's like really good stuff so i bought this shirt here i bought this white shirt right here and i also bought it in black um, I think it's really cute. It reminds me of like an Aritzia shirt, but obviously the quality isn't like as top tier, but like I still like, I really like the material. I also bought pajamas for my sister and I, and I bought this for me. I haven't had the chance to wear it yet because it's like still kind of cold right now, but it's like pink plaid. And like, I would say that the accents in my room are like kind of pink, like right here, here, and a little piggy. And there, there's like light pink accents in the rest of my room. So I wanted to like get light pink pajamas to match that. And it also comes with um, a headband, which I think is really cute. Wait, I kind of want to put it on. Oh yeah, it's not bad. It's 
so bad. I think my sister's in her pajamas right now, so I don't really want to bother her because she's doing homework, but I will put a picture right here of what they are. They're really cute. It's like strawberry patterned pajamas. And of course, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that my recent picture from when this is being filmed that I kind of lied to you guys. I mean, I didn't explicitly say that I cut and dyed my hair, but I bought some wigs. Starting with my favorite wig and the most natural wig, I think, is this one right here. I will put it on. I don't really use wig caps because I don't really, I don't really know how to use them, which sounds stupid, I know, but. So I like to buy wigs with bangs because I feel like normally bangless wigs like look pretty unnatural here. So I like to have something to cover that. And I also want to see what I look like with like bangs. And I, honestly, it's not that bad. Maybe in the future I'd want to dye my hair brown, but I'd want to see what it looks like first. So yeah, it's like almost the same length as like my real hair. So this is my real hair. This is the wig. It's a little bit shorter. I think this one's like the most natural because it does go from black to brown, which I think is like super natural looking. And also just the color is super natural. I really like the color and I like how it's like subtly waved at the end. So it's like, it's like something I probably could achieve with my own abilities. <laughs> okay, this next wig, I wanted to see what I'd look like with Blonde hair? Kind of wanted to dye my hair blonde before in the past, so I just wanted to see what it would look like. Right, so this undoubtedly looks the most unnatural, and it looks like I'm about to cosplay an anime character. I think if you wanted to cosplay an anime character, this would be a good wig. I, I like how the bangs are like curled like that. I think that's really cute. Um, it's pretty long. Um, the only thing that like looks unnatural is because like you can see like my dark hair seeping through like i think if it were like properly bleached it wouldn't have that of course and there's like so much hair i like the waves though i like how it's curled i think it's really cute i actually really like this wig like i honestly thought about like cutting my hair after i put this wig on i was like mm, maybe I, maybe i should but i'm kind of attached to long hair it takes such a long time to grow Okay, this is wig number three, the last wig. I actually really like it. I think the color is really nice too. And like the hair is like so straight. It's like I've never had hair this straight in my entire life. But, oh my gosh, oh, it's in my eyes. I don't understand how people have bangs like at their eye length. Like it gets in my eyes and it's pretty irritating. I think the bangs look really natural and the hair, it's like, it's like really short at the end and then it gets longer in the front which is like a pretty natural like realistic haircut uh if anyone's curious two of the bangs come with actual wig caps wig caps i haven't used any because i just i don't know i just i think i'm too lazy to put them on and besides like this works pretty well i mean like you know no one can tell in the front. Uh, that basically concludes my uh, style haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. And I hope you guys are staying safe and having a lot of interesting things to do. Um, I hope for everyone who's like AP testing, I hope it went well, which I know for a lot of people it didn't, especially with like the submission process. And <laughs> I mean, I personally didn't have issues myself, but like I honestly would hate it so much to like, study so much all the way till now and then be told that you have to like retake it in june so you have to study even more which would be really exhausting because i myself am like totally done with school like i'm probably like 95 percent clocked out right now i'm just like holding on by like a single thread of hair so yeah i've basically just been playing a lot of video games and it's really frustrating playing video games is really frustrating especially when you're not that good also good news if you haven't heard avatar is on netflix now which is really exciting i remember the first time i watched that was when i was 14 and the reason why actually is because of a youtuber named joyce bean i remember she was like one of the like my favorite youtubers when i was like that when i was like younger i'll let you guys go and i will show you what is inside the insta kit
spicy. I like that. Nice. Don't be shy to join the giveaway. All you have to do is follow the instructions in the description box below and you will be drafted into winning Insta-Kit. There will be two winners, by the way. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.